think I'll press the record button now. Hello guys, this is a uh, Garden Friends Play. We're here with I'm here with Caleb, and uh, we are playing for you people today, for you lovely, lovely audience. We are playing Toho Luna Nights. Yeah. So yeah, which uh, I from haven't played. I know Caleb's played a lot. Uh, from what I can tell, it's a much more Vania. It is. Yeah. Although, uh, keep in mind that, uh, this is meant to be for fun, so, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, and, uh, of course, um, yeah. And, of course, if you want to see this this kind of content, you, uh, you might well, want to subscribe, you know, you never... Well, uh, this is going on the main, but not yet, because it's just got to be really short. Yeah. Welcome to essentially the reason why you're not as powerful, they weakened you. Yep. To put it bluntly, they took most of your power. Also for fans of for for those of y'all who are fan for those of you who are fans of the Toho series, y'all probably don't want this game because Maybe, you, play, you play as probably one of the iconic like, characters in the entire Toho franchise. Granted, Saku, yeah. gr granted, granted. I don't know much about Toho, but I can tell you this. Uh they're um, they're um, pretty much all iconic. Oh yeah. But some are more. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 You a uh, giant mech with a hat. It's something. <laughs> it's kind of also like a leech cat. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why. Kind of looked like it. Also, um, I don't know if I don't know if we just showed it off, but uh, it looked like um, may have had some health recovery. Kind of the thing about, about uh, this game is uh, the closer you get to an enemy, the more HP you get. Yeah. So, and of course, you probably well, yeah, you'll you'll probably see it more whenever we actually take damage and yeah, you know, whenever we dodge enemies. So that's one thing that um, happened in this game. I also, if y'all want to read the text since Caleb's kind of blazing through, y'all can just put a uh, slow the video down so y'all can, oh, can read it. I'll slow it down a bit. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, and yes, uh, the telephone uh, pulse is sort of the safe state, or your safe yes. points. It is. So, yeah. Also, if you collect these gems, you will get a slight buff to certain stats. Though, um, at a certain point in the game, it tells you straight up, uh, you have to collect a lot of gems. <laughs> and I mean a lot. Yep. And I'm gonna do a personal challenge and <coughs> not actually spend many. Or try and spend as little as I can. Okay. I mean, of course, you'll probably still get some upgrades because I'm not, I imagine some are some are practically essential or be in. Uh, I mean, not really. I mean, you do get them. There are some upgrades you do get in. Uh, there are some upgrades you do end up getting. Yeah. Like without having to buy them, but it will make the game easier, and you will need to probably buy one. Yeah. Well, you don't have to. Yep. <laughs> huh. And of course, I sure can see floating in front of, uh, is a um, pocket the, the Tori's pocket box, which, uh... Well, she already has one. So this is a different one. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> which, uh... Now we can stop time. Yep. Which is, uh... From what I've seen, can be... is very... it's gonna be a very useful skill to have. Yep. And now we're done. <laughs> Essentially, we don't have to do anything. We don't have to... Uh... But we can do this. Oh, also, uh, I didn't mention it before, this is obviously the same thing that we're going to help the health recovery uh, area. I mean, if you, you know. Yep, but, uh, 
Gems do not get you money. How you get money is from recycling the can into that garbage bin. And that garbage bin. And uh, selling it to the uh, drug, whatever it is. I don't know what it means. But there are some upgrades you can't, there are some things you can't get without certain uh, items. So you don't have to wait. Yeah. So basically what we're saying is there are some things that we can't really get right now until we get certain things. So those will have to wait. But um, I must say from oh, present the yep. mm -hmm. And there is a MP Max upgrade. Oh, or something. I don't know what yeah. But I get ten more. You know, increasing your health and magic is always well. No, always, it's just it's always useful. Like oh, I said, increasing your magic and health is always useful. Yep. Although granted, um, you don't actually level up health. Your your health doesn't get level up until you get that item. You're there. Yep. Uh, your defense pretty much sucks, so you're essentially having to do a lot of grinding. Yep. Also, this is what happens when you use the time stop in the water. You can't move. Oh. Which makes sense. You freeze the time. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. Um. And of course, um, yeah, but actually, now that we're on the subject, if you go to the gems at the shop, it does tell you what it, what boosts you get. So it is kind of worth it to go to the shop just to see if you're really a no spending thing. Uh, it's well, I, I personally think <coughs> what happens if I don't spend anything. But it's gonna make the game a bit harder. A bit. You do get stuff that does buff your time stock, but they're not very common. Yeah. So you gotta be really sparing and smart with it. Yep. Good. Yep, back to another health check. Oh, there we go. There is actually sort of a challenge to do in getting that. See, okay. Oh, the money? That you get precisely 10 gold from it yep. each time. So basically, um, good luck farming that out for a lot of money. Yep. Because that'll take you a while. And this is not useful until you find the other gates. So <clears throat> keep that in mind. Yep. Yep. And as you just saw, since Caleb did dodge his enemies, he got health back. So that's what we meant earlier from if you dodge enemies, you can uh, get health back in this game. So besides uh, besides going to the health checkpoint, that's the other way of getting your health back. And of course, I mean, and of course, unlike the X series, like you like you guys are seeing on my channel on uh, on John on John the Hedgehog, um, the depths. The, these bikes are not instant death. No, I think that's only a case for the main game. Yeah. Because honestly, that would kind of suck though if they're not instant death. I don't think. Well, I don't think a lot of main games or even Metroid have that. It, I mean, the counter to it is it does a lot of damage. Yeah. So it does. So you never, well, you never want to, you never want to really hit them, but they're not instant death like Mega Man's are. And as you see here, I can't get that yet. Yep. So people have to know that. Yep. Yeah, so those of you who are watching and taking notes, you want to make sure you know where that is. Certainly, if you're trying to grind out stuff, there is a uh, very specific point of where, if you want to get a lot of money fast, there is um, 
right next to the shop is six enemies, and they are among the weakest. So if you farm them for quite a bit, you'll have a lot of money. But uh, the downside is they don't get a lot of experience, and the money they do get is very low. So uh, it's up to you to decide to work it. Yep. Oh! Wait, oh, uh, that works. It forced you out. Yep. Alright. And actually, and, um, for those of you who know this character, Sakuya, um, I couldn't tell you what game she's from, but I. Well, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll just a tell you. But a, cer a certain game in the Temple series. But. As you can tell, her, her main method of, of attack is knives. Knives, a sliding knife. A sliding knife. Various other stuff, actually. Yeah. So uh, basically, um, with Eo. yeah, and uh, well, yeah, pretty much. And I was actually joking with with, with Kale a couple of days ago that um, like basically, a while ago, basically, a while ago that uh, her knives seemed to like appear out of nowhere. It's like she keeps them in like hammer space, or like she just like magically materializes them out of nowhere. And now we can, and now we must backtrack. Yep. And now we must backtrack to the first area. Yep. To get this, to move on, you know, as all Metroidvanias are, you need to get certain items to progress. Yep. And also, and also in, in true Metroidvania fashion, you all will always backtracking, so get you, so if, if uh, if you're not into backtracking, this is not your game. Nope. Granted, the map is very short. It's like, you can beat this game in only a couple of hours. Uh, well, maybe not a couple of hours, but you can beat it pretty quick. It's not very long. Yep. In fact, um, when this game was first released, there was, there actually, um, needs more content in it if you beat it. Yep. So, uh, you do have to beat the game, though. That's the thing. You do have to beat it. And I... I want to say it like true Toho fashion, although I really can't, that's not really saying I'm not really sure much about it. I believe, from what I know, your hitbox is a little smaller than you might think. Yeah, and I mean, yeah. Yeah, it's a little smaller, so essentially, you can essentially avoid yeah. some attacks that might reach you, but shouldn't. Uh, yeah, like, and, and also, for, for those, for those who, are, who, who are Toho fans, you all know that Typically, the Toho games are bullet hell games, and yeah. and, and and what Caleb said, and games. what yeah, yeah, or weather games. What what, so, yeah, and what Caleb just said is actually really true, especially in this game, because even though this isn't necessarily a bullet hell, this is still like yeah, the, it hit, the, the hitbox can to make it seem like a bullet hell. Well, I mean, at some point, it gets they get difficult. Whether you need to get better stuff, and I'm limiting myself for this, so the parts may go on for quite a bit longer. Yeah. Actually, I might as well see what the what each one does. Yep. Because at this point, you're only getting the first three. You're not getting the latter four until much later in the game. I don't even. I'm not sure you need to get diamonds in the main story. Yeah. Which I think, like, what diamonds like most rare, like, cost-effective, like, like money items in the game, I'm say. Yes, they give you the most because of all the diamonds. Yeah, the diamonds. Yeah. There we go. And also fill up and also reach those MP. Yep. So not only dodging enemies if you short HP buffs are short MP as well. Yep. So basically if we haven't hammered it hammered it into your skull already, dodging enemies is also very useful. Very useful. Yep. And now And also, I mean, obviously, with the name Stun Knife, it'll obviously do like twisted damage and stun the enemy. Well, oh, it won't stun, but it will do a lot of damage. Yeah, so, yeah. And then it flies. Um, I 
I guess I'm not at like, the shop here yet or something. I don't know. Huh. But each gem does give a different buff. Yep. And we have to have a lot of them. And I mean a lot. Yeah. There we go. And that's another one added. Yeah. <coughs> Alright. In fact, there is an item that, uh, there is a specific thing you can't get until endgame. Yep. You have to wait until endgame to get it until your knives are that much stronger. So yeah. And as you see there, popping time is very useful whenever you want to get stacked up multiple knives so you can get maximum damage. Yep. And as Caleb said, there are, I believe, I think he said this already, but there are upgrades I think to your top, uh, like how long you can have your stop time spent. Stop. And you know how many knives you can throw and stuff like that. There are things like that in this game. Yeah, keep in mind I did just come back and uh, I have beaten it, but I only beat it once. Although it is still a very short game. Yeah, so this game isn't. I mean, of course, this this this, this series probably won't take that long. I mean, as Kev said, this game this game is rather short. So I mean, unless if there's like. Unless if we're like really trying to like 100% it, like getting all the unlockables. Uh, like well, there really aren't any anything to unlock. It's mostly just get all the items. Yeah. So yeah. But it's still, it's still a fine game to play. Yes, it is. Pretty much. And I believe this is when your first pull you can buy stuff. We'll do that So now I'm assuming if you go back to uh, you go back to Nitori, you buy that. You're gonna buy stuff now. Yep. So, uh, you want to. There's nothing saying you have to. But you can. But you can. Although in some cases it is kind of worth it because you do get nice. Do this! Yep. Oh, I need to go ahead. Oh, that's too super long. Man, a secret engine, secret pathway. Huh? Magic points. Huh? Magic What? Almost. I got it before. This is where wall jumping would be excellent. Or just jump from behind. <laughs> this is where you have to come back at a certain point. But you do get something really good. You get auto uh, aim. Uh, auto aim. Okay, see this? You can't do that yet. But it's actually it. The auto aim is actually worth it for two reasons. It yeah. automatically attacks enemies and it fights hidden walls. So it also does this. It's not very strong, but it do, so. But it is an auto. But it is an auto. Auto aim. Yes. Feature where you don't really have to aim much. Nope, but you still have to make sure you aim it correctly. And you get a 3D key. Yeah. Which really does not mean a lot in this game. You get certain keys that unlock certain doors. It's not really useful in a way. I mean, I, I mean, I guess you could say though, it, it does unlock certain areas. Yeah, it, it makes it easier. But later on, there are keys you do need to get. So, and we're actually coming up to the first boss. Yep. That took me a bit because I'm still learning the controls. Yeah, and I've actually seen uh, Caleb play this boss before, and it looks pretty hard. So, yeah. Well, at least if you don't know what you're doing, anyways.
drawbridge. Your first boss of the game. I also didn't notice that that top right bar is the boss's health. Yep. And, uh, of course, you want to shoot her when you have any slowed down time, and, uh... No, when she doesn't have her shield up. When she doesn't have her shield up. That shield is basically a tennis ball. Yep. Or you can just do this. Sneak behind. Oh, a bunch of knives. And you want to do a combination of slowing down time, and... <laughs> And of course, yeah, also, also, a lot of damage. also, you don't want to get hit by the, by the rainbow and the fire. It's not just standard. And to me, the other country is good. And either way, you just don't get hit by Mainly, I mean, obviously, as, as you can now, see, the main strat is just to slow down time. Yeah, slow down and Yeah, slow down and stop time, hit her whenever she's vulnerable. And, yeah. Uh -huh. And don't try to hit her whenever she's vulnerable. Uh -huh. She goes on with her command mail wave. No, it's a it's a stronger move. Uh, oh. My goal looks like command mail wave though. Yeah. Now, one more hit, I'm dead. Yes. And yeah. yep, like that, okay. Yep. Fortunately there is a checkpoint outside the boss room, so if you do, so right so if you do die, then it's not that it doesn't it's not actually put that much punishing. And uh, I'm limiting myself heavily, so uh, when I play this game off screen, I'm going to blind like crazy. Yeah. Right, I forgot I had to be one. Ow. Yeah, that was her bad. Yeah. As you can see, she does a lot, the boss does a lot of damage. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, kind of like in the X-Series, like, the bosses, you don't want to really take them lightly. Nope. Oh well, no, any, any boss has the potential just holding you, regardless of how good you are. Yeah. Well, uh, I, I wouldn't say that. If you're unaware of how to attack, yeah, like it's going to take a multiple time. Like I said, if you, I mean, these, guys, these guys could be easy if you don't, if you, if, if you know what you're doing, but, but, uh, but, but, but for a novice that is going in blind, it's going to be kind of difficult to get. Alright. So, um, obviously, uh, next time on uh, Drown Friends Play, we will continue on this, uh, with this uh, mini series, with this uh, series. And uh, yeah, if you liked the video, please like, subscribe, comment on the screen, hit that notification bell for some more awesome content. Alright, guys, we will see you.